we can also use the breath if we go with Fritz Perl's definition of uh, of anxiety being excitement without the breathing if we start to feel that muscle tension if we start to feel that worry coming up we can shift with breathing there are many many lessons Feldenkrais lessons and in fact I'm going to be doing an online course that's eight weeks long starting in June um, just breathing through anxiety so we'll do long lessons we don't obviously have the time for that so something that's very simple is to bring your shoulders up toward your ears and you're gonna hold your shoulders by your ears and then imagine you're breathing through a straw and exhale completely. So you push out all the air. And then when you get to where you feel like you can't possibly push out any more air, hold, just hold the exhalation, you hold your breath. You let your shoulders down and then notice what happens. So I'll do it with you so you can see what it's like. So the shoulders come up and then I'll exhale through a straw. And when I get to the bottom, I don't take a breath. I just hold it and let my shoulders drop and see what happens. So it's... So what we're looking for is that spontaneous breath. Uh, what happens is a lot of people will cheat. It's very easy to go, I don't like to be without air. So it's very easy to kind of take these quick little breaths in between. And then what ends up happening at the end is the shoulders come down and you take a breath as opposed to allowing a breath. So it's a little bit to differentiate it, but to be aware of uh, allowing yourself to completely exhale and really push out the air and then hold that exhalation as the shoulders come down and then just let go because your body wants to breathe. It knows what to do if you don't get in your own way. And by doing this simple movement, it starts to reset that musculature. It gives your shoulders something to do. A lot of times when we're anxious or tense, what do we do? We tend to raise the shoulders anyway. So we're doing exactly what the body is asking us to do and is actually doing independently. And we start to do it. We say, you want to do that? Let's do it. It's like dealing with a three-year-old, right? You give them what they want, they shut up. 